My name is Andriana, but most people just call me Anna. And for my whole life, I lived up to other people's expectations. I came from a refugee family, and my parents wanted me to become a doctor. But I didn't even want to go to college in the first place. But I'm graduating in the spring. <laughs> and you know in middle school, those black fleece jackets that everybody had, you know, the North faces, and the newest <laughs> iPhone, I wanted all of that. I wanted everything and do everything that everybody else wants, wanted. And then one day in high school, I was just scrolling through the depths of YouTube at 2 a.m. like everybody else does in the middle of the night. And I, watched, I came across this video about minimalism, and I just got sucked into it. This lifestyle was like, it was crazy, like, what? So close your eyes and try to picture what you think a minimalist looks like. Now open them. You're probably thinking, that it's some naked person that lives in the woods and only carries their three most prized possessions with them. But that's not what minimalism is. What it means is to live a life with intention and focusing on quality over quantity. And by living a simple life, you'll be less stressed and more happy, which is what I truly want in life. So I grew up in Worcester, born and raised, not too far away from here, and Coming to Boston has always been a huge dream of mine. And I took on that opportunity immediately when I heard about Semester in the City. But I was also nervous and scared. I was overwhelmed by how many things there were to do here, how many people to meet, how many places to be. And I just wanted to fit in with my fellow cohort members. And I passively just followed along with what they were doing and not really doing the things that I wanted to do. And in the beginning of October, I just started getting fed up with it. I asked myself the most important question, does this bring me joy? And the answer was no. So I took a step back and I thought about it. I've been so into this whole minimalist and simple life type of thing, wanting to live in intention, but I wasn't doing anything that I actually wanted to do. And from there, I started doing a lot of things like taking walks by the water and going to museums and looking at art. And I was so much happier. And I even heard from someone, I want to be Anna when I grow up. And I was like, why? <laughs> and I realized it's because I'm doing me. I'm just happy. And I think everybody should strive for that. Just do you. <laughs> um, I don't think it's selfish to want to devote time to yourself and find your passions. Because at this time in your life, it's the most critical time to be doing that. Thank you.